three-dimensional tissue models are very important for industry and research because animal experiments are not really reliable and partly forbidden by law, especially for the cosmetical industry. We aim to generate highly complex organ-like tissue models for drug development and substance testing by the bioprinting technology. The bioprinter is based on a flexible and modular concept in order to adapt the instrument's performance to the user requirements. It can be equipped with different printhead technologies in order to process a broad range of biomaterials with different chemicals and physical properties. For example, inkjet printheads for bioactive deposition, direct dispensing for hydrogels and pastes, but also thermopolymers with extrusion-based technologies. The bioprinter is placed into a sterile environment in order to process the cells without being contaminated. It also comes with a custom-friendly software in order to design your own 3D tissue models in a layer-by-layer -layer fashion. We developed an extracellular matrix-like hydrogel called BioInc, in which the cells can proliferate and migrate. The BioInc is solidified with the photopolymerization unit using visible light. Having developed these fundamental principles, we produced 3D full thickness skin models as proof of concept. These living skin models contain two types of cells, fibroblasts for the dermis and keratinocytes for the epidermis. In an ongoing project, together with additional partners, we develop muscle tendon tissue. The aim of this project is not only to print functional tissue, but also to develop a special well plate device where the printed cells can differentiate and their reaction on compounds can be analysed. We are very happy to see them contracting in full biological function after the printing process with BioInc. We'll use the 3D printing technology to revolutionize cell culture by using 3D bioprinting. We'll not be able to create a whole heart or a kidney, but we start with simple tissues like skeletal muscle and tendon that consist basically of uh, one single cell type. So in contrast to the classical 2D cultures where cells grow crisscrossed, we'll be able to uh, do mini organs of aligned cells, mini skeletal muscles and mini tendons that help us in drug discovery and development. The huge advantage of bioprinting is the exact positioning of cells, matrix and signaling factors. By this we are able to enhance the complexity of our models, to come close to the in vivo situation. In future we will use this huge potential also for regenerative medicine.